We're shaking for the weekend, baby. Welcome back, everybody. Happy Friday. We're shaking for the weekend, everybody. I hope you guys got some great plans. Thanks for joining me again. I am Pat, the Queen of Wands. All right, so thank you. I hope you guys get out and ground yourself. Thank you for all the love, the likes, the shares. Thank you for everything that you guys do to help me grow the channel. I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. All right, so this is what's shaking for the weekend, y'all. All right, so I got... Be careful about your drinks because I see someone could try to tamper with your drinks this weekend. So if you go somewhere, make sure you're a bodyguard to your drink. All right. I got a lot of crying this weekend here. Two different card decks. That's about crying. So you guys could be feeling this energy. All right. I also get that someone could be in jail. Somebody could be trapped or just feeling trapped or literally in jail. And I'm also getting somebody could have got put in jail due to some poisoning, some tampering, all right, energy as well, okay, so um, I also got, we need to pay attention to our children, somebody's on the phone more than they're paying attention to their children, all right, and 999, something is almost over, you guys could be seeing this, next is 1010, and this could be for Virgo, okay, you're about to end something or something could be completely over, okay? And uh, I got this STD concern, so be careful about this right here. Sexually transmitted diseases, that's a disease, okay? Not a demon, that's a disease. Somebody is doing spell work on your finances here. Somebody's trying to keep your finances fucked up, all right? They're trying to make sure that you don't have any luck, all right? And then I have the Page of Swords. Somebody's still stalking you. <clears throat> all right it's upright so let's get off into these energies <clears throat> and somebody also feel foolish they feel foolish about actions and everything that they did here and i got throat chakra okay so somebody don't want you to speak all right we got some side chick energy right here and look at these these some of these cards don't even go but somebody is an overachiever this is how somebody could feel about you. Somebody could see you as a side chick and you might be doing too much. But it could be positive things. Because when you hang around people that's not on your level, of course they would think that you're an overachiever. Okay? It may be that you just want something different in life. That's all. And you're putting the energy to it. How can you manifest or how can you achieve things if you're not putting anything to it? All right? So what we uh, plant seeds to, that grows. If you're not planting any seeds, how can you expect anything to grow? Okay? <clears throat> so somebody's feeling trapped here. And it could be trapped in love. Somebody could feel foolish. Somebody could feel like they got played. All right, Holy Spirit, what is the energy for this weekend, please? For this weekend, Holy Spirit, with this weekend, is an Empress Boss Bitch energy. You're focused on your finances. You're focused on building, elevating yourself, and going higher. All right? You could be a business owner. Okay? And this is this is fake news. So somebody's lying about some shit here. <clears throat> you might find out about some uh, lies. And it could be your friend or somebody telling you that they saw you with your man. Or they saw somebody with your man and it's a lie. They saw somebody with your woman and it's a lie. So you got a hater here. Somebody's trying to come in between your relationship is what I see here. All right. When whatever this lie is, you know, it's a lie. OK, they didn't see you with nobody. OK, yeah. Somebody's highly guarded in a situation here this weekend. All right. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Somebody's settling also here. Somebody settled for someone. Somebody's settling for a situation here. You could be highly guarded because you settled. All right. Yeah, somebody's about to travel. Look at them red bottom shoes. That Chanel. <clears throat> Somebody could be famous. I hear wealthy. All right, spending a lot of money here. Somebody's traveling away here. Yeah, somebody wants to be happy here. This could be a happy couple. You guys could be traveling this weekend. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is this energy? Yeah, so somebody's throwing a lot of shade. Somebody's talking a lot of shit here. Maybe it's about a happy couple. <clears throat> All right, Holy Spirit, what is this energy? Yeah, so this is a toxic relationship. So maybe somebody's throwing a lot of shade because maybe they had a toxic relationship with somebody. All right, I see a lot of drinking here this weekend. 
All right, somebody could wear gold chains and everything like that, okay? Yeah, because maybe somebody thought that they was going to get married or somebody wanted to marry someone. Um, I hear, you know, the materialism energy is here. It's something about a marriage. Maybe somebody chose somebody else over somebody and somebody's throwing shade type of energy is here. Yeah, all right, what's this right here? Yeah, and this is you don't have to change. You don't have to like me. You don't have to change. So this is somebody who loving themselves for who they are. And you don't give a fuck if somebody like you or whatever. And that's how it should be. It's a lot of doubt going on right here. Somebody could have dreads. Somebody's doubting a situation. Somebody feel like they got to change to be with somebody. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, and this is a narcissist energy. Somebody could have blue hair. It's a feminine narcissist here. So this weekend, somebody's very aggressive. This could be a stripper with blue hair. But somebody's very aggressive and controlling. And somebody feel like, don't judge me for my lifestyle. I got to do what I got to do to make some money here type of energy. All right. Yeah, because this person could have a family. Somebody could be pregnant. Somebody could have just had a baby and maybe they're going back into stripping because they got to take care of their family. All right. So this is... Um, there's an indifference here, all right, and also there's interference here. Somebody always like to hang out with their male friends here, okay? It's some type of secret relationship going on, all right, on the side here. Yeah, somebody's definitely highly guarded. You could carry your gun everywhere you go. You don't trust anybody. You're highly guarded in this situation. Kind of reminds me of my t-shirt. <laughs> Okay, it's the energy, okay, that you could be in this weekend, just protecting yourself, you know, just feel like you got to do what you got to do, it's you against the world, Tupac energy is here, okay, and you're trying to build a life that you don't need to escape from, and that's why you could be highly guarded and not letting people in your circle, okay, you could be that chick, you know, you got to protect yourself. Okay, yeah, this is a loving man energy, and somebody is pregnant here. So somebody could just be at home taking care of their pregnant wife or girlfriend here. It's a loving energy here, and you got a family member that's supporting you, letting you know that you're stronger than what you think. Okay, you are way stronger than what you think here. All right, any more messages out of this? Yeah, we got somebody who like girls and boys. All right, so we got somebody who's bisexual this weekend. All right. What other energies do we have? We got some side chick drama going on, mistress drama going on this weekend. All right, Holy Spirit, what are the messages that we need? Yeah, so this is a good girl, but I feel like it's a good girl going bad energy here. All right, what's this message for this weekend? Yeah, and you got this. You have been through so many storms right here. You have been through so many storms, through so much shit. You are way stronger than what you think. All right. This is somebody who is a good girl. And it's like somebody could be identifying who they are after they've been through so many storms. All right. More power to you, sister. All right. Yeah. And this is come through boot energy. All right. So somebody is going to call you and want you to come on through here. All right. Be careful because you got some fake ass friends out there. It's some snake ass energy here. Fake friends. OK, just be careful of that. All right, yeah, and it's a security blanket energy here. Somebody looking for security in their relationship this weekend. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here? Yeah, so this is a fresh new start. And a fresh new start in a secure relationship is what I see here this weekend. Okay, what are these? Yeah, because something has come to an end. There is an ending, and someone is having a fresh new start in a secure relationship. All right, what's this message here? Yeah, somebody's hacking your social media, all right, this weekend. What are these energies, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this could be a third party. Who's ever in? That's the confirmation. Who's ever in your third party could be hacking your social media, okay? Whoever this third party person is. Yeah, it's a wee head energy going on here, all right? Divine calling us out. Hey, hey, hey. A wee head energy. Somebody going to be smoking a lot of weed this weekend, Okay, and also there could be the birth of a baby this weekend. All right, congratulations to you if you're having a baby this weekend. All right, and this is, yeah, because Divine said it's some baby mama drama. 
going on, all right? So somebody might have a baby this weekend and this might create some baby mama drama this weekend, all right? And they saying, cause somebody got to want to be at the hospital for their, the birth of their child. And this might create some baby mama drama this weekend, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, give us the messages that we need for this weekend. Yeah, get out and ground yourself. I hear a sun bath is very good, you know, and it helps cleanse your energy. Take off your shoes and walk through the grass. Get out there and hug that tree. You guys know I'm like a naturistic energy. I'm all about Mother Earth. That's a form of healing, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, get out there and be happy this weekend, all right? And get that spiritual bath in there this weekend, okay? What are the energies that we need? So somebody is still remembering the past this weekend. Somebody's stuck in some past energy for the weekend, all right? And it's a transgender energy here, but this is somebody who's accepting themselves for who they are and what they are and what they like. Somebody could be remembering some energy with a transgender this weekend or vice versa. Take what resonates. Holy Spirit, what's this energy? Yeah, a spiritual connection. Somebody could be thinking about a spiritual connection this weekend. All right, yeah. Somebody has a criminal background, a criminal past here. All right, that could have held up a spiritual connection because of somebody's criminal past. All right, yeah, somebody could have been enlightened okay their third eye is awake and somebody could have been enlightened about someone's criminal past or you might be this weekend okay holy spirit what are the messages yeah somebody's just gonna pray about it somebody's being enlightened it's a lot of illumination this weekend about a past or something that happened in the past here okay holy spirit could be getting to somebody here this weekend all right, yeah, somebody's about to whip somebody's ass in the situation is what's happening here. And this could be some Atlanta housewife shit. So it could be some Atlanta housewives that's about to fight this weekend. All right, it could be some type of whatever going on here in Atlanta. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is these energies? And this is, um, yeah, somebody's like making a decision to possibly end some type of relationship or move forward here. All right, I feel like it is some baby mama drama. Somebody could be married here. You know, it could be a mistress here on the side. All right, protect yourself. Yeah, <laughs> is somebody gonna say, fuck this? Yeah, that's why I said somebody's thinking to end something. So somebody might just say, fuck this. This could be a Atlanta housewife that caused some shit off here. All right, yeah, somebody's in the spotlight right here. Somebody could be a singer. Somebody could choose their career. Somebody could be famous. It could be the microphone type of energy, a DJ, okay? And this is somebody is letting go of the past, all right? But somebody could be smoking and having some drinks, listening to some old school music as you release the past any way possible, any way you need to, all right? Yeah, you could be doing this with your bestie. You got a best friend that's there for you, supporting you as you make these decisions to release the past. All right, yeah, because it's about betrayal. This is cat fight energy. All right, somebody put you in a position to where you have to fight for love, and that's not real love. You deserve so much more. All right, <clears throat> and also somebody could have found thought about somebody's down low secret here. All right, Holy Spirit, what is this energy? Okay, so we got a lot of energies. So this is you needing to have strength in the situation right here. All right, have strength in the situation. You possibly might find out somebody has a download secret this weekend. Somebody is in a situation for material gain, material wealth. Okay, yeah, and this is a new man, so be careful. You could have a new man that's all about finances, all about that money. This person also could be wealthy. Okay, and also we got the big papa specialist here. All right, I'm picking up on a loan shark energy. I'm picking up on a hustler type of energy here with Big Papa here, okay? And we got deceit in reverse. So this could be over some type of deception. Could have been exposed, a betrayal or something. It could have led to some type of cat fight, some type of brawl, all right, about some type of deception. So just be careful about that energy this weekend, 
more reverse energy, self-love. This is all D divine said because somebody didn't love themselves. Somebody was tolerating too much emotional abuse and pain and deception. And it ended up being like an outburst of feelings that could have lead or can lead to violence. Okay? So you got to love yourself more than that and know when it's time to walk away from situations instead of letting them make you lose composure of who you are as a person, as a human being. All right? Yeah. And this could be a single mother. All right? This could be a single mother. Maybe you're just going to walk away and take your kids and find another avenue. All right? Because you're starting to or have to learn how to love yourself and treat yourself as number one first here. Yeah, somebody's vaccinated, fixated upon you, your beauty, your stature. All right, this weekend. <clears throat> All right. So, the Holy Spirit, give us some energy. Why is somebody going to be crying this weekend? Why is somebody in a crying energy for the weekend, Holy Spirit? What's this crying energy for the weekend? All right, because somebody will continue to do the same thing to you over and over again. This could be a habitual cheater, a liar. This could be deception, and somebody's going to continue this. Okay, anything else we need to know? This could be a relationship. Yeah, there's a deep spiritual connection here. Somebody also could be crying over the loss of a deep spiritual connection. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you have strong psychic abilities, but this is my confirmation as well, that I have strong psychic conf confirmations, okay? And this is 999. So something right here has come to an end, okay, is what I see here. And somebody could be crying over this. Somebody could be crying over a deep spiritual connection is what I see, okay? Holy Spirit, why does somebody feel foolish? Yeah, because the vine said it ain't going to never happen. So if it was some deep spiritual connection, something happened where divine stepped in and blocked that. And divine said it ain't going to never happen now. All right? And somebody could be crying over that. And this is why somebody feel foolish. So let's hit up on foolish Holy Spirit for the weekend. Why does somebody feel foolish? Because mm -hmm. they didn't want this responsibility and somebody didn't want to do the work. All right? And also somebody just got caught up in responsibility. All right. Yeah. With a past life connection, your twin life, your twin flame energy right here is canceled. Divine said it ain't going to never happen in this lifetime. OK, because they're too busy facing karma. Justice is being served here and that's why it's not going to happen. OK, so um, somebody feel foolish and somebody could be crying. They lost the journey and the doors are closed. OK, because somebody's too busy facing karma. Holy Spirit, give us a hit on this karma, okay? Oh, so this could be a Taurus who could be facing some type of karma, all right? And they have serious regrets for hurting you. So whatever Taurus did to you, they have serious regrets because divine stepped in and divine law and justice stepped in. This Taurus could have been affecting your stability, okay? And now they're facing some serious karma right here is what I see, okay? And that's why somebody could feel depressed. I feel like this person stepped out of their character. This is not something they would have normally done. Okay. But I feel like they were led to do this. And now they feel foolish. And they could be crying. Mm -hmm. Well, God bless you. We all learn from our mistakes. Okay. So let's see what else we got here for the weekend with our finances. Okay. Holy Spirit, give us some financial energy for the weekend. What do we need to know for the weekend? Holy Spirit, financially, all right, right here. So whatever you need, it's going to arrive just in time. You might need to move. You might need to catch up on your bills, your finances, or whatever is happening. It will arrive just in time at divine timing, okay? Holy Spirit, yeah, it's going to rain up in here in divine timing, okay? So, hey, don't give up hope. You done been here before. This done happened before. And haven't you always been saved is what Divine is saying right here. All right? Because it's going to be a lucky day for you. It might be today. It might be tomorrow. But one day it's going to be a lucky day for you. Okay? Holy Spirit, what's this weekend energy here? Thank you. All right? Yeah. Somebody's going to be a wealthy woman. All right? You're a hard worker. You're a giver. And you're very committed to what it is that you do. Okay? 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, somebody's out here shopping. You're going to need a new wardrobe here. All right. Okay, Holy Spirit. Somebody could be out shopping this weekend. Somebody could be spoiling themselves. All right. And this is a mutually abundant relationship here. Make sure it's not business and pleasure. Somebody could like your boobs, could be checking out your boobs. Somebody could see you as sexual appetite or energy. All right, so make sure that you're prosperous in this business venture more than just in the sack, okay? Yeah, this could be a new adventure. This could be your new hobbies getting exposed, being very creative. That leads to lucrative investments at this time, okay? Holy Spirit, what is these energies? Yeah, and somebody's trying to curse all of that, all right? Somebody wants to see you broke, cursed, and have a financial struggle. And remember, the divine said, karma, what goes around comes around. All right. So you still go ahead and pursue your ideals because what you what your plan is and what you're thinking of and what your business investment is, the vine said is worth pursuing. All right. And someone will want to collaborate with you. OK, so keep pursuing that. OK, because the vine said your hard work. All right. It will pay off in the end. OK, so that's your financial energy for the weekend. Let's see what the ancestors got to say for the weekend here. All right. Ancestors, please give us some messages for the weekend. All right. Have fun, everybody. Let your hair down. Get in those spiritual baths here. Find your peace. That's what I'm trying to do. Find your peace, you know. So you got a mirror guardian. Somebody trying to throw mirror magic at you. Somebody's trying to project onto how they're feeling, what they're going through. They're trying to project this off onto you. Also, somebody could be trying to transmute karma to you to make you feel or suffer from things that they have done to you. Somebody could be paying a practitioner to do some deep, dark transmission energy, clone energy, cloak energy is what I'm picking up on here. <laughs> Senorita. Uh, all this kind of stuff right there. But you are protected. I think you have went through the most abuse as far as dark magic. And now you're in a protection bubble shell from the divine. <laughs> Look at this. They said, thank you from the divine. The Lord is here. God is here. They said, this is what's going on this weekend. Divine justice. All right. And look at your health right here. They're protecting your health. All right. God is here. Divine justice is here. The first card that popped out. <laughs> All right. All right, divine is here. Ooh, I love this energy, okay? And they've protected us all summer long. You guys might be seeing bumblebees, all right? What are these energies, Holy Spirit? What are these energies, all right? What do you want to say, all right? They want you to be brave, and they want you to be strong, and they will also want you to know that they're rolling with Archangel Michael this weekend. Mm -hmm. They see a narcissist. It's a narcissist. Didn't, didn't I say this? They see a narcissist. They say it's a traitor. All right? It's a traitor out here. So we got divine law and justice going on this weekend. It's a traitor. And this is what they got going on here. Who could be trying to mirror some dark energy to you? Okay. Go ahead, ancestors. Okay. So it's spring energy here. Somebody could have been doing something in the spring. You guys might see a rabbit here as a confirmation that it's time for you to sow those seeds or whatever that you have um, planted is about to harvest. You're about to reap a harvest on that. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Give us some messages here. Okay. Yeah. Star glazer. So you guys could star glaze this weekend. And this is a star that might be bigger than the others. And this could be a deceased loved one that's protecting you. Mm-hmm. I love this energy. Okay. Set your sights higher. Okay. Divine want to level you up. And that's what people got a problem with. Divine leveling you up. Okay. Yeah. This is your she wolf, he wolf energy. You turn it into that strong person, that night energy, protecting yourself, defending yourself. All right. This is you unleashing the wild within of who you are as divine and archangel and your ancestors protect you. Mm -hmm. Look at you out there grounding yourself with Mother Earth, birthing new ideals. All right. This is why God is protecting you because you have a further mission. You have a journey. All right. You have Mother Earth energy to protect your new ideals, protect your fortunes. All right. Look at this. They're protecting your guardian angel.
You guys might find a feather this weekend. And it's telling you that you are not alone. By any means, you are not alone. Okay? You got Mother Earth out here. You guys could have a mother, okay, that is an Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn that could be in heaven. All right? That's protecting you, telling you to step into your power, unleash who you truly are. Okay? You're being protected. <laughs> okay? By God. <clears throat> That's I love that powerful, beautiful energy for the weekend. Anything else we need to know, Holy Spirit? Okay. Yeah, look at this. Whatever God <laughs> reject, you know, whatever God reject from your life is for your own protection. You know, and that's why God said they're here protecting you. All right. And it might be some things that you need to reject. You need to make some decisions this weekend because it seems like if, you know, whatever decision divine already done made the decision. <laughs> all right. And they're protecting you from something. All right. Some of us divine can be protecting us from ourself. OK. Yeah. It's a Taurus. All right. It's a Taurus. That you need to reject. Okay. Yeah. This person could have made you miss an opportunity. Or this Taurus missed an opportunity. Okay. Is what I see. Yeah. There's an Aries right here. This weekend. Alright. That God had to step in on. An uh, Aries. Yeah. Look at this. Somebody didn't use their intuition. Alright. You guys can be seeing 111. 1111. 911. Somebody didn't use their intuition in a situation here. You could be an Aries. All right. I see missed opportunities. Somebody doesn't want responsibility is what I see. Something is never going to happen. Yeah. And divine said 999. Holy Spirit, you gave us this. What else? Yes. This person could have gave somebody bad advice. You know, a friend or family member. They could have gave somebody bad advice here. Yeah, and it was bad timing to take action in the situation here. Somebody advised somebody badly is what I see, okay, about a past life connection. So I um, I feel like somebody's trying to resurrect what Divine already had in order, all right? Yeah, it could be a Gemini. It could be some twins involved in the situation as well, all right? Yeah, somebody's feelings are neutral about a situation, and somebody is playing with fire, <clears throat> is what Divine is saying. So somebody could be trying to change the way Divine set up something, and now Divine feel like somebody playing with them and playing with fire. So somebody's going to get burnt, is what Divine is saying. Yes, so something could have definitely taken place this spring, all right, whatever this is that... Somebody's trying to, yeah. So divine is looking deeper into something because something is hidden. All right. Something got taking place this spring. All right. Anything else we need to know for this weekend, Holy Spirit? Anything else for this weekend? Yeah. And somebody don't want it if it's easy. All right. Somebody's trying to throw themselves on somebody in an attempt to get somebody back. But somebody feel like it's too easy to get this person back. You know, so, you know, respect yourself. Have dignity, integrity for yourself here. Yeah, somebody's seeing some bullshit on somebody's phone this weekend. All right, anything else we need to know? All right, all of these. Yeah, it's some type of undying love situation here. Somebody have some type of undying love for someone. All right, but you could be doing better without this person in your life. And you just don't give a fuck anymore. All right. Somebody has wild emotions. All right. But they're still dating. So you already know what's going on right here because you already predicted a lot of this energy and you're just too busy to even give a fuck. All right. Somebody could be trying to call you. They can't get through to you. All right. Somebody's just a player and they keep on playing games. But somebody right here is trying to block you out of a situation. Somebody just trying to block you out. Okay. Yeah, and this is, I should be yours. <laughs> this is somebody with the stupid mind games and stuff right here. All right, let's get some tarot and we'll close this out, guys. Anything, Holy Spirit, we need to know about the weekend? Any final messages for we're shaking for the weekend? All right, we got Knight of Wands in reverse, okay? So Knight of Wands is in reverse is a reckless show-off. 
this a daredevil, this some volatile energy, arrogant, unpredictable. This person could be holding a grudge. This is hasty and jealous, all right? This person is hyperactive. This is somebody who might try to come up on you if they see something that they don't like or if they see you with somebody else right here. All right, this is also a page of wands in reverse. This is somebody who don't have any confidence. This could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or a Sag. I'm picking up an Aries out of ideals. Um, they don't have any more ideals to cause problems. This is somebody who just don't love themselves. They don't have no energy. They got to find a new path in life right here. All right, this is somebody who act hasty. Yeah, all right, and somebody's about to have a victory. Yeah, and somebody has been tested. So the energy is somebody could be getting tested or somebody could have went through this situation. All right, there could have been a battle. Somebody got flipped in reverse and somebody right here got the six of wands, a victory in a situation. Yeah, somebody had to have a lot of courage, okay? Because somebody was dealing with a queen of wands in reverse. Somebody was strong will. Somebody was determined to continue to cause the ten of wands. A burden you know and now the ten of wands is coming out in reverse so someone can no longer create burdens for you this could be a fire sign a leo aries or a sag and definitely a battle bruised soldier so this queen of wands in reverse could have had took somebody through a whole lot of shit you know a whole lot of shit but you coming out with the six of wands a victory is what i see here so this might be some ending energies for the weekend. Okay. Holy Spirit. Any more messages out of the tarot? Any more messages here for the weekend? Holy Spirit. All right. Any more messages? Yeah. Somebody see you as an overachiever. And this is Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. This is overachiever. And this is somebody who is reaching their family legacy. Congratulations, guys. This is somebody who's getting an inheritance. Some wealth, domestic, uh, you know, domestic duty, lineage. This is buying a house, security, some type of estate. Somebody's getting their ten of pentacles, all right? And somebody else right here is in a hangman position, is what Divine is saying, all right? Somebody is stuck here. I'm also picking up on somebody did a lot of spell work to keep you stuck, but now somebody else is stuck. All right, so this is what I have for you guys for what's shaking for the weekend. I hope I gave you guys some energy and thank you for hanging in there with me. I truly appreciate you guys. All right, and be sure to stay prayed up and stand in your power and your faith. That's all we can do right now. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.